What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, looking back at the Acerborn video I did a couple weeks ago, it seems you guys really liked these retrospective videos on my old card games. So my final video of 2019 is a look back at another old card game, Zenith. This game never launched on the Game Crafter, but a lot of progress was made from it which was folded over into Astronomica. So let's take a small look at what did get done for the game. I think if you later compare some of the cards, mechanics, and art in this video to my new stuff, you'll see that I got a lot of inspiration from this game, and I still do. So what was Zenith? Zenith was my original science fiction trading card game. Immediately after scrapping Easterborn, I still continued to work on my art a bit more. So for this game, what ended up happening was that every card was full art. The art here really did come before the gameplay. I had already drawn three or four characters before I decided, hey, let me plan out the rules first. So I was mainly just experimenting a bit before I came up with an idea that I liked. Now eventually, the gameplay ideas became clearer. In the game, players had pilots and engineers. Pilots could pilot mechs and engineers could operate buildings. Once a mech was piloted, they'd be able to attack the opponent's mechs or the opponent directly. And life worked similar to Astronomica, where it was set at 6 and getting it to 0 won you the game. And in the background right now, you're seeing some of the original templates for the cards, which is definitely more than a little rough. A few cards from this game have again carried over, so you might recognize some of the designs, for example, Ephemeral Breaker. Now the lore for this game also served as the basis for Astronomica's lore. You'll see that there's uh, two factions in these cards that you're seeing on the screen. There was Polaris, and there was Labrys. These factions kind of had the same principles as their corresponding ones in Astronomica. For example, Labrys was this kind of um, economic-based faction similar to the Legion Corps, which had a lot of the elves and humans, and then Polaris was more like mechanical, more um, research-based. Maybe closer to Kakito's Council, but there was no magic in this game. And similar to Astronomica, uh, this game blends some of these fantasy races and my reimaginings of them with the science fiction aspects. So you'll see that elves have a similar design in the current game. Um, you know, there's a few orcs here and there's one Draken character here, but like the Cyclops, that came in a lot later. So after some help from my best friend, the final iteration of the template for the game was done, shown here. The game was definitely inspired by Outrun slash Vaporwave visuals. And you'll see some of that also in both Easterborn and Astronomica. There's also a few characters here from both of those games. For example, you could see that um, Alvin Diplomat is based off of uh, Sander Sendo CEO, or that Violent Berserker is the same art as Mechanical Warlord from Easterborn. Uh, I like to bring over some of my characters when possible, just because I'm very lazy. <laughs> Now I definitely have a pretty huge soft spot for the game, still, but some of the aspects of it are pretty funny looking back. Like if you're wondering why all the characters have a thick black border, I told myself back then it was part of the art style, you know, to make them look kind of like stickers and to really jump out, but the real reason was to cover up shoddy as hell line work. Now, I eventually gave up on this game because of how long it would take me to get a single card done. Again, this was um, maybe about halfway since uh, when I started drawing, so it took me a lot of time to get some of these designs done. I also felt like the core gameplay wasn't very satisfying. The resource system was even more forgiving than Astronomica, and it could allow players to snowball crazily. And similar to Magic and Mana Screw, if you didn't draw a pilot or an engineer, you could just do nothing and lose in two turns. But all in all, I still feel like Zenith was definitely one of the more interesting projects I worked on. This was after playtesting Easterborn and getting responses that my game was similar to Magic, for example. So I kind of went out of my way to make it different. Uh, that's not always the best thing to do, but I still think it helped me flex my creative muscles. And as I said before, um, this game was never released, but some of you who have been following me for a while may have seen uh, some of the art from this game already. For example, on the Instagram, I made a video for it, and I'm pretty sure I showed off a banner for the game on the HTCG Discord server. Would I attribute to have been its biggest downfall, however? Uh, probably the fact that I got burnt out. If there's anything I would suggest from this video, it's to uh, pace yourself when working on your game, you know? Uh, it's not a race, 
Uh, let's be honest, you're not gonna get a million sales on day one or anything. So I think the biggest thing to do is realize um, that you, you just gotta have fun with it, you know? And that's the best way to get work done on your game. So what did you think about Zenith? Did you think it looks cool? Be sure to tell me in the comments below. I respond to most of them. I still have a few other minor games that I worked on to touch on in the future if you guys like these style of video, so please let me know. But anyway, that's it for today. As always, like if you liked it, please subscribe if you loved it, and happy holidays. I'll see you guys in 2020.